guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, it's the end of June slash the beginning of July and that means we're all freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, there's this tag that people tend to do around this time of the year. I've never done it before because I didn't know it existed somehow until now. But it's the mid-year book freakout tag. And you have to do this motion whenever you say it. It's part of the rules. Anyway, there are 15 questions and so let's not waste any further time because I'm already talking too much. Let's jump into it. The first question, what is the best book you've read this year? So I have two favorite books. The first one is Strange to Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I uploaded a review of this when it came out and it was just so good, you can watch my review up in the cards or down below. And another book I really really loved, that is my other favorite, is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Oh my god. You guys have probably heard me talk about this in my wrap up if you haven't seen that yet, again, in the cards. But this book is my new baby. I am so in love with this series now. I cannot wait to continue it and it is just so good. Huh. Oh, I forgot I had a third one. I am cheating threefold, thrice, triple cheat. I don't know English, but this is the third book I also really love this year, and that is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. This book is so amazing. Everybody, I think, loves this book. I have not heard of a single person who disliked this. It is so magnificently done. It is hilarious. It is sad. It deals with, like, difficult issues, but does it in such a good way. It's like a murder mystery and everything. Oh, my God. And her writing is so gorgeous. This book, mm, obviously... It had to be one of my favorites, so sorry about the cheating, but it couldn't be helped. What is the best sequel? And for this, the uncontested favorite probably is The Dark Days Pact by Alison Goodman, book two in the Dark Days Club series. I don't know what it's called, but Jesus Christ. Oh, it's called the Lady Helen novel. That's fun, not. But oh my God, if you guys have not read this series, you absolutely have to. It's YA and um, people compare it to like uh, infernal devices and I think that this is like a thousand million hundreds of times better than infernal devices. Like honestly, this is kind of underrated. Like I barely hear people talk about it and I'm confused by that because this is so good. And I specifically picked this book not just because I love this entire series, but also because this is the perfect sequel. Like, it is the perfect second book to the point where I feel like every book should literally, like, every author should read this book and make their own books be like this book if they write sequels. That doesn't make sense. This is a difficult sentence. Number three, a new release. You haven't read it, but want to. There's a few, but one of them is The Song Rising. Wow, <laughs> I was just <laughs> like picking it up and kind of surprised by the weight of it because like this is so like, like lightweight compared. I don't even know <laughs> why was I so confused by that right now. This is The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. Book three in the bro Broken Bones. <laughs> I'm so confused, you guys. Is The Broken Bones like a mixture between The Broken Ones and the bone season you could say that but it's not so stop this is the third book in the bone season series and I've really enjoyed the first two this book came out in March and I pretty much ordered it when it came out but then I was reading like strange dreamer and I was doing the um, what's it called tome topple readathon and this is in 500 pages so it wasn't worthy of my time at the time sorry about that but I will definitely be picking up this book soon so getting on that. Number four, what are your most anticipated releases for the rest of the year? And I'm very uncreative because all of the mine, all of mine should just be one, but it's two, I'm sorry, is in July. So, yes, I'm so excited. The first one is Monstrous Volume 2, I think by Sana Takeda, I'm not quite sure, and someone else. But it is a graphic novel and the first one blew me away. It was so amazing. I read it sometime last year, like last fall, winter, something, I'm not sure. I think I talked about it in my like end of the year 2016 wrap up, so you can go over there and check it out if you're interested. But like, this is so good. The story is fantastic. It's like fantasy and 
just so well done and the, the artwork, it is the most beautiful and I'm so excited that volume 2 is coming out like so soon. And the second new release I'm really excited for is Arabella and the Battle of Venus. I just read Arabella of Mars by David D. Levine which is the first book and now the second one is coming out in a few weeks and I am just so excited. Yay! The first book was so so good for the most part except for the ending so now I'm like a little bit worried about the sequel but also really excited. I'm not sure if I'll like buy it immediately because I got the other one from like a reduced seller or something on Amazon Marketplace so it wasn't quite as expensive but the new hardcover is like 24 bucks or something like that which is a little expensive so maybe I'll wait <laughs> until I can get that reduced as well. Next, what was your biggest disappointment? so far and I have two. Number one is Room by Emma Donoghue. I DNF this book recently. I just like didn't like it at all. It was not my style of book so no. And number two is Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I did a dedicated rant video on this because I was so heavily disappointed by it. It was so bad. <sighs> what? the fuck. What is your newest fictional crush? Of course, it has to be Lord Calston from this world again because, oh, he's bae. <laughs> he is very, very attractive. So, yeah. What is your newest favorite character? And for this, I'm going with Fezzik from The Princess Bride. I didn't really enjoy that book that much. I did love the fairy tale portion. And I did love Fezzik because it's just so cute. And especially towards the beginning when we would get his like life story. I just wanted to hug him and cuddle him and tell him it's okay because he was so... Oh, I felt so bad for him. So, oh, he's, he's, he's the best. I love him. Next is a book that made you cry, and that is The Broken Ones by Danielle L. Jensen. Holy shit. Um, going into this, I knew I was going to be sad, I knew that, but I still just couldn't handle it. My emotions were like all over the place, and I was extremely sad, so I cried like a lot during that book. Yay. And then I reread the trilogy, and then I cried a lot again during that, especially to the last book. So yeah, it's The Broken Ones and Warrior Witch. Those two. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, I couldn't deal with it. A book that made you happy! For this, I'm going with My Detective Conan Mangas, because these literally never disappoint. I mean, the story's been going on for a little bit too long, but like, they give me such nostalgic feeling, and like, whenever I read them again after not having read them for a long time, I'm like, I immediately get back into the same place that I was, like I don't think I'll ever outgrow them because I haven't so far and if I haven't yet then I won't because they're just so good and they just like make me so happy so please. I don't have an answer for the next question which is what is your favorite book to movie adaptation? I don't really watch any of those, haven't watched any. I do want to watch uh, The Big Little Lies show and I've seen like a few episodes and then just like stopped again for no apparent reason. And I did kind of like it, but like I can't say that I liked it because I haven't finished it yet. I just like had good feelings towards it anyway. What was your favorite review that you did this year? And for this I have to go with The Watcher by uh, Charlotte Link. And I did like a whole, I don't even know, 20 minute rant video on that one. I will link it in the cards. If you guys haven't seen it, you should because it just, it's so funny to me too to watch it and like it's so cool because like some of my friends found it and they were like having a party of it. I don't know, they really enjoyed that I was hating on the book so much somehow. So yeah, if you like Rance, you should go watch that one because it's a good one. What was the most beautiful book you bought this year? And it has to be Strange to Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I just, it's so gorgeous. I wish I could show it to you. I don't have it here in physical form, but I have the UK edition and it's everything. I used to think it was ugly. I used to like, just when I saw it online, I wanted the American one because I like that one better. But then this one arrived and I was just like, holy shit, this is so gorgeous. Oh my God. Ah, it's so beautiful. I love it. I just realized I forgot two questions earlier, so I will just sneakily insert them here. Number one, what is your biggest surprise this year? And that was Nutshell by Ian McEwan. I did know going into this, 
what the premise was, which is that the book is told from the perspective of a fetus, but just like still from that premise going forward, it was really surprising, I think. And the other one I just like didn't answer earlier is what is your new uh, favorite new author? So it could be either a debut author or someone you discovered and read for the first time. And that has to be Robin Hobb. Like, holy shit, Robin Hobb, girl, you go. Like, what? on earth is wrong with me that I haven't read her books before and that ties very well in with the now actual final question which is what books do you need to read for this rest of this year and of course all of Robin Hobb's books like that's the only logical answer I have to this question Robin Hobb's books and also I need to read House of Leaves by Mark Sianilevsky needs to happen Teresa you need to do it and then I just picked another random one because I have a lot of books that I need to read actually but this is one I really do want to get to this is the Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry um it's gorgeous and I just want to read it anyway you guys so that is it for today's video leave a like and click the subscribe button if you are new to my channel and also welcome I'm weird just a disclaimer in case you hadn't noticed okay Leave a comment down below telling me your favorite book of this year. That's my favorite question out of all of them. So you should answer it too. What was your favorite book you read this year? Let me know. And come back very soon for a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.